Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another edition of NBA Player Builds. And in today's episode, as you can see on the screen, we are recreating New York Knicks, or should I say Chicago's own Derrick Rose. Now, Derrick Rose, I mean, I really shouldn't have to say anything about Derrick Rose. Everybody know who Derrick Rose is, um, all the accolades he has, youngest MVP ever, uh, you know, multiple time All Star, uh, multiple time uh, All NBA, Rookie of the Year, gold medals. You know, uh, just a phenomenal player. I don't really think there's any knock on Derrick Rose except for the fact of you know the injuries holding him back and stuff like that. Him never really fully being able to get healthy. But um, I just want to let you guys know that we are doing current. Derrick Rose on the New York Knicks. We aren't doing Chicago Derrick Rose. We aren't doing Minnesota or Detroit or Cleveland Derrick Rose. We're doing his current version of himself, which I feel like he's been playing pretty good when he has been on the court. Like, I know he's still uh, battling injuries and stuff like that or whatever, but I can say that in the time that he has played uh, for New York and Detroit, you know, and even his last year in Minnesota, he has played some very uh, meaningful minutes and he's put up you know some very meaningful points and stuff like that you know he had his reemergence in Detroit and then of course he got hurt again or whatever like that and even in his time in New York he still looked pretty well you know um of course he's still not his old self and uh that he was in Chicago but I think he could still put up like you know 16 17 18 points per game on a contender team and still be like a a third or fourth option to a contending team. So, you know, uh, there you have it. Uh, we're going to just jump into this build, though. Um, Derrick Rose is 6'2", where's the number four, plays point guard slash shooting guard, uh, 200 pounds. His attributes are as follows, 86 layup, 91 close shot, 55 post hook, 45 driving dunk. He has a 55 post fade, a 70 mid-range, a 83-3, a 92 free throw. He has a 55 post control, 86 ball handle with an 83 pass accuracy, 49 defensive rebound, 50 interior defense, 67 perimeter defense, a 58 block, a 49 steal, and a 75 lateral. He has an 86 speed and acceleration. He has an 89 vert with a 50 strength. And then as far as his badges, he has 13 into finishing, 10 into shooting, 20 into playmaking, and one lonely defensive badge. So let's just jump right into making this build for you guys. So first of all, we're going to start off by choosing this pie chart right here, which is the blue and yellow, because he's mostly slashing and playmaking with a little bit of shooting. Um, secondly, we're going to go with this pie chart right here, which is the speed and vert pie chart, because as you know, he has high speed and still has high vert, uh, just doesn't have a lot of strength. So starting out with our attributes, what we're going to do is we're going to max out our close shot and our layup. And then we're going to put our post hook on 66. Now, here's the thing. His driving dunk is a 45, but I still see Derrick Rose dunk every now and then. Uh, maybe on a fast break or something like that. He's having a good game. He's feeling it. He'll go up there and dunk it. You know, a little rim graze, a little two-hand, you know, quick drops off one type dunk or whatever like that. Even though we're not going to give him a 65 driving dunk to get that quick drops off one, we are going to put our driving dunk up to a 60 just so he can get, you know, some decent dunk packages. He'll be able to get, you know, some rim grazes and stuff like that on a fast break so we can still feel like Derrick Rose. You know what I'm saying? Even though we know Derrick Rose doesn't live above the rim like he used to because of the knee injuries and stuff like that, he plays more so like a Kyrie Irving type of game now with the acrobatic layups and stuff like that. He lives below the rim now, but... I still want to have that 60 driving dunk just in case, you know, you on rack or you in par, you get that outlet pass and you want to bang something with a little rim grazer or whatever like that. Or maybe you want to catch a little alley-oop. Rose can still catch a oop here and there. He ain't catching it above the rim like how he used to, one hand cocking it back. But he can still catch a little alley-oop. So that 60 driving dunk means you're still going to be able to catch some oops and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, moving on, we got to max our mid-range. We're going to max our three and our free throw. And then we're going to put our post fade to a 55, giving us our 10 shooting badges. And then we're going to put our pass accuracy at 83. And then we're going to put our ball handle 
down to an 86 and then we're going to put our pulse control up to a 55 giving us 20 uh playmaking and then for defense we're going to max our interior defense max our lateral max our block and then max our defensive rebound and then we're going to put our perimeter to 67 and then we're going to put our steel to 61. now obviously he doesn't have this high of defensive stats or whatever like that but I felt like we were going to give him some of his stats. And then whatever left over, I was just going to put into rebounding and steals. Now, obviously, if you want, you can put his exact stats and put the extra points into shooting or finishing or playmaking. If you want the extra badges, okay, you can put the, the, the rest of this stuff like the steal. It steals like a 49 or something like that. You can put these 12 points into shooting and get 11 shooting. You know what I'm saying? Or you can put uh, these points into playmaking and get more playmaking. Or you can put it into um, finishing and get uh, more finishing if you want more finishing and stuff like that. Like I said, you can get an extra shooting or extra finishing badge. It's really up to you. I went with steel just so that I could play the passing lanes a little bit more. And just so I can stay true to the build because this is what Derrick Rose has as far as playmaking. He has 13 finishing, 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 1 defensive. But again, like I said... Pause the video and you can go back and change that if you want to add an extra finishing or an extra shooting badge to your build. Body shape, I went with Defined. He is 6'2", so we're going to go 6'2". He's 200 pounds, so we're going to go up to 200 pounds in the weight. Wingspan, again, I left default, but you can move it up or down um, if you want. He doesn't really have crazy dunking, so bringing his wingspan down isn't going to hurt your finishing too much. But it will make your shooting a lot, lot better, as well as your ball handle. Your defensive stats are already kind of trash because he's not really much of a defender anymore. But, uh, you know, me personally, I left the wingspan default. And then with the takeover, I feel like all three of these embodies Derrick Rose. I mean, he doesn't live above the rim anymore. But... It boosts his ability to finish at the rim in traffic and stuff like that. So he's still going to make those tough layups, those double clutch layups and stuff like that. Contact layups, um, playmaking. He still has the ball handle that he's always had. He still has that quick first step or whatever where he can explode out of his dribble move and get to the rim. So playmaking takeover is not a bad idea. And he also can still shoot the little mid-range shots that he used to shoot, the three ball and all of those things as well too. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with any of these three uh, takeovers. But for me personally, I chose slashing takeover. So that's what I'm going to choose. And then, of course, you have built a slashing playmaker with shades of Derrick Rose. Now, of course, we're going to hop into the build tester so we can get you guys your badges and be on your way. Um, for the build, of course, we're going to go up to a 99 overall, 90 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 vertical. Very nice, very fast build. Um, now, keep in mind, you can always change these badges around if you want to change these badges. Uh, please keep in mind, we have Hall of Fame finishing badges, and we have Hall of Fame playmaker badges. So at the end of the day, you can choose whatever badges you want. I'm just going to give you the guys the badges that he has on his build. So for starters, he has Gold Teardropper, which is his only gold badge. Uh, he has Silver Acrobat. He has Silver Fast Twitch. He has Silver Fearless Finisher. He has Silver Giant Slayer. And he has um, silver slithery finisher. But as you know, I put the driving dunk up to 60. So we have one extra badge. Uh, so with this one extra badge, you can pretty much do whatever whatever you want. You could do a bronze posterizer, a bronze lob city finisher. You could do a Hall of Fame teardropper if you want. Personally, I would probably go with either gold slithery or gold fearless or gold acrobat. Any of these three badges you can't really go wrong with. Um, Giant Slayer is another nice one since you're going to be 6'2 in that build and you're primarily going to be finishing at the rim and stuff like that. So you might want to go with uh, Giant Slayer to help you with finishing over the taller defenders. I'm going to go with Gold Slithery. Um, then for the shooting badges, he has Gold Rhythm Shooter, which is his only gold shooting badge. He has Silver Difficult Shots, which is his only silver badge. And then finally, he has Bronze Badges and Bronze Lucky 7 bronze green machine bronze mismatch expert bronze stop and pop and uh bronze volume shooter now like i said again you could remix some of these badges me personally i probably would get rid of green machine and i probably would get rid of lucky seven 
Uh, and I will probably up a uh, mismatch expert. Um, rhythm shooter you kind of need because that's more so his play style, the dribbling, breaking down the defender, and shooting. Uh, difficult shots you would really need as well, too. Um, I really wish we could boost stop and pop. You know, maybe take volume shooter off and put a stop and pop on. But, again, like I said, uh, you could do whichever, whatever you want uh, for these badges and stuff like that. Me, personally, like I said, I would take Green Machine off and just boost Mismatch Expert because you are 6'2". So, that's what I'm going to do for my version. Of course, he only has one defensive badge, which is Bronze Hustler. Uh, if you want to stay true to the build, you could just give him Bronze Hustler. If not, me, personally, I would go with Bronze Clamps just so I can help stay in front of my defender or whatever like that. And then for the 20 playmaking badges he does have, he has a silver bullet passer, he has silver downhill, silver glue hands, silver hyperdrive, uh, silver needle threader, silver quick first step, and then silver space creator. And then for his bronze badges, he has bronze ankle breaker, bronze bailout, bronze special delivery, and uh, bronze tight handles. So... Obviously, he had other badges like Triple Threat Juke, but I just felt like um, it's just not necessary to have Triple Threat Juke. Um, you know, the, we, we're going to optimize the build. Nobody runs Triple Threat Juke. So we're going to have two badges left over. Now, with these two badges, you can do whatever you want. You could go with Handles for Days, which would be a nice one. You could go for like a Bronze Dimer. Um, which would also be a nice one or whatever. Uh, you know, Silver Floor General, a stop and go. But me personally, I'm going to go with Silver Unpluckable just so that I can make sure that I don't get ripped. Nobody's going to put a hand in my, you know, my ball dribbling or whatever like that. I hate turning over the ball. I hate getting ripped. So I'm going to go with Silver Unpluckable. So there you have it. The Derrick Rose build, the current Derrick Rose build for NBA 2K22. Uh, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content, badge breakdown videos, and of course, NBA player builds. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. I'm out.